Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. So, as you guys know, it is prom season. So, in lieu of prom season, I want to make a good bit of prom videos to help all you girls out there and even some of y'all guys that want to get prepared for prom because guys care about prom too, it's not just girls. But yeah, so in this video, as you guys can see by the title down below, I will be showing you guys how to do corsages and boutonnieres. I chose to do my own corsages and boutonnieres just because going into the store, Kroger, Publix, all of those places, even the floral places and all of that, corsages and boutonnieres cost a lot. Like, corsages can cost anywhere from... 30 something to like 50 something dollars. Boutonnieres are a little cheap just because they only use one flower and those are usually around $10 to $15. But I chose to do my own because one, it was too expensive. My parents aren't going for that. <laughs> and then two, I chose to do my own because some of the ones that you see in the store are real. And I was like, hey, it's like prom is a big day. Like it's a big deal. It's a big day. You only get two of those. And like some people can only go to one. Some people can't go to any. But I'm grateful to go to one and I was like, hey, I want to be able to keep my own corsage. So I was like, why not I make my own corsage and use some fake flowers so that they can preserve. Because if you buy real flowers, because they are real, they will die. The flowers will become brittle, they'll become brown, and they will die. So just keep that in mind when you go to the store and buying some. So I'm out here helping all the girls who are trying to save a little coin. For graduation because you know graduation comes after prom so if you're trying to save a little bit like me or save a little bit to go out to eat with your friends after something like that this is a video for you and also if you're about to get married this is a video for you as well because i know a lot of guys wear boutonnieres when they're getting married so stick to the end of this video to figure out how to make your own corsage and boutonniere <laughs> to the items that I'm using for this DIY project of course you need your artificial flowers of your choice I chose red because I feel like that complemented what I'm wearing and what my date is wearing you also need some extra flowers you will also need baby's breath yeah I know it sounds good when I first thought I was like what is baby's breath but it's just like a little white flower you would need ribbon you need extra decorative pieces that you have and like any decorative piece of your choice you also need floral tape and you of course need a corsage holder we need pliers i have three different pliers shown in the video but i'm not really sure which one i'm going to use so just choose a plier that's best for you and works for you and you'll need scissors of course because you have to cut some stuff y'all can get all of these supplies from your local michael's hobby lobby dollar store if they have it at the dollar store all of that i know it didn't cost me that much because a lot of this stuff was on like 50 percent off sales for floral and all of that stuff so make sure you go when they're having a sale let's get right into the video okay so we're going to start off with the boutonniere so you would need one flower and other people like mine i got these from hobby lobby and they're already pre-cut make sure you take the tag off of course um and these ones are better than buying a full flower just because you know it's already cut you know it's less work for you to do so the boutonniere is really easy to go straight in and make so you want to get two flowers just right off jump make sure you have them the correct way if you see the wire it's not the right way make sure you have it this way and we're gonna put these like this we're gonna need our flower tape y'all flower tape it does not feel like tape at all so what you need to do in order to get it to feel like tape, or to in order for it to stick together, is you have to actually like wrap it tightly around, or it will not stick. Trust me on that one, y'all. Um, giving y'all a light.
about how the tape looks because at the end this will all be covered with ribbon. So, so now your next step is just so you have your base, you want to make sure that you now add your flower. personal look I'm going to add in another leaf up here just to get it to look a little more natural Take your baby's breath and start adding this to it.
around just to cover this up. But make sure you cut these off because of course you don't want your special man or your date this for your wedding or your prom to of course get stuck. <laughs>
now is I'm going to take your ribbon again and wrap this on. So I can you wrap the ribbon. Corsage holder. So this is what I suggest y'all do. I didn't record it because I got my dad to do it because I just was over it. So I could not do it. But what I suggest y'all do to get this corsage to get this corsage holder on and for it to stay is like these little extra pieces that were on it to fold it over. They fold over, but it's not gonna keep it secure, especially if yours is thicker. Even if it's smaller, like the smaller it is, the harder it's gonna be to secure on. So what my dad did to secure on there was, I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you really look, there's some, he put, he added some extra holes, two holes on the top, two holes on the bottom, and he took some string, some fisher string, some see-through fisher string, and he wrapped it around multiple times through those holes and also through like around the actual corsage is so and I think that is actually the best way for you to ensure that your corsage stays on because hot glue like these it will most likely probably slip through 
or they will break off like how mine did. And I got mine from Hobby Lobby, so a little confused. And if you put hot glue on it, especially with this metal hot glue, it's just gonna come right off. Like it's not even gonna stick anything like that. So I suggest y'all take some string and really put it through the through your corsage and through these little holes and tie it on there so it stays on. And yeah, that's I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy to do. My dad did it. He did it in a couple minutes. So it's not gonna it's not gonna take that long. You could take a little drill, a power drill, and make those little holes, or take a screwdriver, or just anything that you could puncture through and make those holes. And then he took a needle and he put the needle through the flower, through the corsage, and then through those holes. So yeah, this is how you make your corsage. And then you could either put it on this way. I know some girls put it on this way, or they put it on this way. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put mine on yet, but yeah. So this is how you make your corsage. And you're matching boot and ear. So you have your corsage holder for this and for the guy you just add a pin to this and you put it on him. And that's how you make your matching corsage and boot near from from scratch, DIY, all that. You can find all these things from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, the dollar store, any crafting store that you have, pick up extra little pieces that you like to add into it to make it look nice. You can also do this with real flowers. If you do this with real flowers, when you take the stem of your rose itself or your flower itself, make sure you take that green string that I had earlier, some of this green string, and you stick it through so that it stays secure or it will most definitely break apart. But this is how you make it. If you guys want, if you guys want me to do any other DIYs, how to make things to make from scratch easy anything like that let me know and i will make videos for you i'm a really big diy crafty person so if you guys want to learn how to do anything like that make sure you guys comment down below right now what you guys want me to do and i'll make sure i come out with a whole diy video how to make all of those videos fails real ones all that good stuff so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Okay, so that is how you make your very own corsage and boutonniere for prom or for your very special wedding day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed the little talk, DIY, make your own type videos, let me know and I'll make some more because I am a DIY person. I like like I like to make my own stuff because it's just it's curious like I'm just I'm a curious person so it's cool seeing what goes behind actually making stuff and if you can make it for cheaper than just buying it then why not so, okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is obviously the first video for my prom season playlist I will make sure I have a playlist for that on my channel you guys can go and look to the link for that playlist will be down below and make sure you guys subscribe to me to see my prom vlog that will be coming up very soon and also see me getting my first closure sewing and sewing just period like it's just gonna be cool so make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell so you can see when those videos come out and if you like this video obviously leave it a thumbs up or if you just support me obviously leave it a thumbs up for me down below and in the description box put a flower emoji if you got to this part in the video that will show me and also make sure you follow me on my instagram and my twitter at i am sincerely on all platforms i'm at i am sincerely and make sure you like comment subscribe all of that share this video with a friend share this with somebody who needs help this prom season share this with anybody that you want to share it to and yeah so i am sincerely Dre, and i will see you in the new video bye <laughs>